The Qur'an, a complete revelation, translated and read by Sam Gerrans. And who is more unjust than he who ascribes a lie to God and repudiates the truth when it reaches him? Is then there not in hell a home for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue? And whoso brings the truth and confirms it, these are those of prudent fear. For them is what they will with their Lord, that is the reward of the doers of good. That God might remove from them the worst of what they did, and reward them with their reward for the best of what they did. Is then God not sufficient for his servant? And they would put thee in dread of those other than him, and whom God sends astray, for him there is no guide, and whom God guides, for him there is none to lead astray. Is then God not mighty, able to requite? And if thou ask them who created the heavens and the earth, they will say, God, say thou, have you considered to what you call other than God? If God wills any affliction for me, can they remove from me his affliction? Or if he wills some mercy for me, can they withhold his mercy? Say thou, God suffices me. In him place their trust those who would place their trust aright. Say thou, work according to your power. I am working, then will you come to know to whom there comes a punishment that disgraces him, and upon whom there falls a lasting punishment. We sent down upon thee the law for mankind aright, and whoso is rightly guided, it is for his soul, and whoso strays, he but strays against it, and thou art not a guardian over them. God takes the souls at the time of their death and that which has not died in its sleep. Then he keeps that upon which he has ordained death and sends down the rest to a named term. In that are proofs for people who reflect. If they take intercessors besides God, say thou, even though they have not power over anything, nor do they reason, Say thou, unto God belongs intercession altogether. His is the dominion of the heavens and the earth. Then to him will you be returned. And when God alone is remembered, the hearts of those who believe not in the hereafter recoil. And when those besides him are remembered, then they rejoice. Say thou, O God, the originator of the heavens and the earth, the knower of the unseen and the seen. Thou wilt judge between thy servants concerning that wherein they differed. And were those who do wrong to possess what is in the earth altogether, and the same as it with it, they would seek to ransom themselves therewith from the evil of the punishment on the day of resurrection, when there appears to them from God that on which they had not reckoned, and the evil they earned appears to them, and there surrounds them that whereat they mock. And when affliction touches man, he calls to us. Then when we confer upon him grace from us, he says, It has but been given me according to knowledge. The truth is, it is a means of denial, but most of them know not. There said it those before them, but there availed them not that which they earned. Then the evil they earned befell them, and those who do wrong among these, there will befall them the evil of what they earn, and they cannot escape. Know they not that God expands and straightens provision for whom he wills? In that are proofs for people who believe. Say thou, O oh, my servants who commit excess against their souls, despair not of the mercy of God. 
God forgives transgressions altogether. He is the forgiving, the merciful. And turn in repentance to your Lord and submit to him before there comes to you the punishment. Then will you not be helped. And follow the best of what is sent down to you from your Lord before the punishment comes upon you unexpectedly when you perceive not. Lest a soul say, How I regret that I was remiss in what is due to God and was among those who deride. Or it say, Had God guided me, I would have been among those of prudent fear. Or it say, when it sees the punishment, were I to return, I would be among the doers of good. Verily my proofs came to thee, then didst thou repudiate them, and wast proud, and wast among those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. And on the day of resurrection thou wilt see those who lie about God, their faces black. Is then the home of the proud not in hell? And God will deliver those who are in prudent fear to their place of safety. Evil will not touch them, nor will they regret. God is creator of all things, and he is guardian over all things. His are the keys of the heavens and the earth. And those who deny the proofs of God, these are are the losers. Say thou, is it other than God you command me to serve, O you who are ignorant? And thou hast been instructed, and those before thee, if thou ascribe a partnership, thy deeds will be made vain, and thou wilt be among the losers. Nay, God shalt thou serve, and be thou among the grateful. And they measured God not with the measure due him, and the earth is altogether in his grip on the day of resurrection, and the heavens will be rolled up in his right hand. Glory be unto him, and exalted is he above that to which they ascribe a partnership. And the trumpet will be blown, and whoso is in the heavens and whoso is in the earth will fall down thunderstruck, save who God wills. Then will it be blown again, then will they be standing, looking on. And the earth will shine with the light of its Lord, and the law will be set up, and the prophets and the witnesses will be brought and it will be concluded between them aright, and they will not be wronged. And each soul will be paid in full for what it did, and he knows best what they do. And those who are indifferent to warning will be driven into hell in throngs. When they have come to it, the gates thereof will be opened, and the keepers thereof will say to them, Came there not to you messengers from among you, reciting to you the proofs of your Lord, and warning you of the meeting of this your day? They will say, Verily. But the word of punishment upon those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue will be binding. It will be said, Enter the gates of hell, abiding eternally therein. Evil is the dwelling of the proud. And those who are in prudent fear of their Lord will be driven towards the garden in throngs. When they have come to it, and the gates thereof have been opened, ellipsis, then will their journey be over. To continue. And the keepers thereof will say to them, Peace be unto you, you did well. So enter them, abiding eternally. And they will say, Praise belongs to God, who fulfilled his promise to us and made us inherit the earth. We may settle in the garden wheresoever we will, and excellent is the reward of those who act. And thou wilt see the angels surrounding the throne, glorifying by the praise of their Lord, and it will be decided between them aright, and it will be said, 
Praise belongs to God, the Lord of all mankind. Chapter 40 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. ha Mim. The successive revelation of the law is from God, the Mighty, the Knowing, the Forgiver of transgression, and the Acceptor of repentance, the Severe in retribution, the Owner of abundance. There is no God save He, unto Him is the journey's end. Their dispute concerning the proofs of God only those who are indifferent to warning. Let not their going to and fro in the land deceive thee. There rejected before them the people of Noch and the parties after them. And every community purposed to seize their messenger and disputed with vanity to refute thereby the truth. Then I took them. And how was my retribution? And thus became binding the word of thy Lord upon those who are indifferent to warning. They are the companions of the fire. Those who bear the throne and those round it give glory with the praise of their Lord and believe in him and ask forgiveness for those who heed warning. Our Lord, thou encompassest all things in mercy and knowledge. Forgive thou those who repent and follow thy way, and protect thou them from the punishment of hell. Our Lord, make thou them enter the gardens of perpetual abode which thou hast promised them, and such of their fathers and their wives and their progeny as do right. Thou art the mighty, the wise, and protect thou them from evil. And he whom thou protectest from evil that day, upon him hast thou had mercy. And that is the tremendous achievement. Those who are indifferent to warning will be called. The abhorrence of God is greater than your abhorrence of yourselves. When you were invited to faith but denied, they will say, Our Lord, Twice hast thou given us death, and twice hast thou given us life, and we admit our transgressions. Is there any way out? That is because when God alone was called to, you denied. But if a partnership was ascribed to him, you believed. But judgment belongs to God, the exalted, the great, he it is who shows you his proofs and sends down for you provision from the sky. And there takes heed only whoso turns in repentance. So call to God, sincere to him in doctrine, though those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue be averse. The raiser of degrees, the owner of the throne. He sends the spirit of his command upon whom he wills of his servants, that he might warn of the day of meeting. The day they emerge, nothing of them will be hidden from God. Whose is the dominion this day? It belongs to God, the One, the Omnipotent. This day is each soul rewarded for what it earned. No injustice this day. God is swift in reckoning. And warn thou them of the approaching day, when the hearts will choke the throats. No intimate friend for the wrongdoers, nor intercessor who is obeyed. He knows the betrayal of the eyes, and all that the breasts hide. And God decides aright. And those to whom they call besides him decide not anything. God, he is the hearer, the seen. Have they not travelled in the land and seen how was the final outcome of those who were before them? They were stronger than them in power and impact upon the earth. Then God seized them for their transgressions. And they had no defender from God, because their messenger brought them clear evidence. And they denied, 
so God seized them. He is strong, severe in retribution. And we sent Musa with our proofs and a clear warrant to Firaun and Haman and Qarun. They said, a sorcerer, a teller of lies. And when he brought to them the truth from our presence, they said, Kill the sons of those who heed warning with him and spare their women. And the plan of those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue is only in error. And Firaun said, Let me kill Musa and let him call to his lord. I fear that he will change your doctrine or cause corruption in the land. And Musa said, I seek refuge in my Lord and your Lord from every proud one who believes not in the day of reckoning. And there said a believing man of the house of Firaun who concealed his faith, Would you kill a man because he says my Lord is God and has brought you clear evidence from your Lord? If he be lying, upon him be his lie. And if he be truthful, some of that which he promises you will befall you. God guides not him who is a committer of excess, a teller of lies. O my people, yours is the dominion this day, you being manifest in the land. But who will save us from the wrath of God if it comes to us? Firaun said, I only show you what I think, and I only guide you to the path of reason. And he who heeded warning said, O my people, I fear for you the example of the day of the parties, like the case of the people of Nuh and Ad and Thamud and those after them. And God intends no injustice for the servants. And, O my people, I fear for you the day of summoning, the day you will turn and go, having not against God any defender, and whom God sends astray, for him there is no guide. And Yusuf brought you clear evidence before, but you ceased not to be in doubt concerning what he brought. When he had perished, you said, God will not raise up any messenger after him, Thus does God lead astray him who is a committer of excess, a baseless sceptic. Those who dispute concerning the proofs of God without any warrant having come to them, a great abomination is it in the sight of God and in the sight of those who heed warning. Thus does God seal every proud, tyrannical heart. And Firaun said, O Haman, build thou for me a tower that I might reach the causes, the causes of the heavens, then look upon the God of Musa, and I think him a liar. And thus was the evil of his deed made fair to Firaun, and he was diverted from the way, and the plan of Firaun was only in ruin. And he who heeded warning said, O my people, follow me. I will guide you to the path of reason. O my people, the life of this world is but an enjoyment. And the hereafter, that is the enduring abode. Whoso does evil is not rewarded with save the like thereof. And whoso works righteousness, whether male or female, and is a believer, These enter the garden wherein they are given provision without reckoning. And, O my people, how is it that I invite you to deliverance and you invite me to the fire? You call me to deny God and to ascribe a partnership to him with that whereof I have no knowledge. And I invite you to the mighty, the forgiver. Beyond doubt you but invite me to that to which there is no calling in this world or in the hereafter. And our return is to God. And the committers of excess 
will be the companions of the fire. Then will you remember what I say to you. And I commit my affair to God. God sees the servants. And God protected him from the evil which they schemed, and an evil punishment encompassed the house of Pharaoh, the fire. They are exposed to it morning and night, and the day the hour comes, cause the house of Pharaoh to enter the most severe punishment. And when they will dispute together in the fire, then those who were despised will say to those who were proud, We were your followers. Can you avail us something against a portion of the fire? Those who were proud will say, We are all in it. God has judged between the servants. And those in the fire will say to the keepers of hell, Call to your Lord to lighten for us a day of punishment. They will say, Came not your messengers to you with clear evidence? They will say, Verily. They will say, Then call. And the call of those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue is only in error. We help our messengers and those who heed warning in the life of this world and the day the witnesses stand the day their justifications avail not the wrongdoers and they have the curse and they have the evil abode and we gave musa the guidance and we caused the children of israel to inherit the law as a guide and a reminder for those possessed of insight so be thou patient, the promise of God is true, and ask thou forgiveness for thy transgression, and give thou glory with the praise of thy Lord night and morning. Those who dispute concerning the proofs of God without any warrant having come to them, there is in their breasts only greatness they will never reach. So seek thou refuge in God. He is the hearer, the seeing. The creation of the heavens and the earth is greater than the creation of mankind, but most men know not. And not equal are the blind and the seeing, or those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness and the doers of evil. Little do you take heed. The hour is coming. There is no doubt thereof, but most men do not believe. And your Lord said, Call to me, I will respond to you. Those who are too proud for my service, they will enter hell abased. God it is who made for you the night that you might rest therein, and the day sight-giving. God is bountiful towards mankind, but most men are not grateful. That is God, your Lord, creator of all things. There is no God save he. How then are you deluded? Thus are deluded those who reject the proofs of God. God it is who made for you the earth a fixed lodging, and the sky a structure, and fashioned you, and made good your forms, and made provision of good things for you. That is God, your Lord. So blessed be God, the Lord of all mankind. He is the living. There is no God save he. So call to him, sincere to him in doctrine. Praise belongs to God, the Lord of all mankind. Say thou, I am forbidden to serve that to which you call besides God, when there has come to me clear evidence from my Lord, and I am commanded to submit to the Lord of all mankind. He it is who created you from dust, then from a drop of fluid, then from a clinging thing. Then he brings you forth as a child. 
then that you reach your maturity, then that you become old. And among you is he who is caused to die before, and that you reach a named term, and that you might use reason. He it is who gives life and gives death, and when he decrees a thing, he but says to it, Be thou, and it is. Hast thou not considered those who dispute concerning the proofs of God, how they are diverted? Those who repudiate the law and that wherewith we sent our messengers, they will come to know when there are yokes and chains on their necks, dragged in a scalding liquid. Then in the fire are they burned. Then will it be said to them, where is that to which you ascribed a partnership other than God? They will say, They are strayed from us. The truth is, we called not before to anything. Thus does God send astray those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. That is because you exulted in the earth without cause and because you were conceited. Enter the gates of hell, abiding eternally therein. And evil is the dwelling of the proud. And be thou patient, the promise of God is true. And whether we let thee see something of what we promise them, or we take thee, it is to us they will be returned. And we sent messengers before thee, among them are those we have narrated to thee, and among them are those we have not narrated to thee. And it was only for a messenger to bring a proof by God's leave. Then when the command of God comes, the matter will be decided aright, and thereupon will those who follow vanity be lost. God it is who made for you cattle, that you might ride some and eat some, and you have in them benefits, and that you might reach upon them a desire in your breasts, and upon them and upon ships are you carried. And he shows you his proofs. Then which of the proofs of God will you deny? Have they not travelled in the land and seen how was the final outcome of those before them. They were more numerous than them and stronger in power and impact in the earth. There availed them not that which they earned. When their messengers brought them clear evidence, they exulted at what they had of knowledge, but there surrounded them that whereat they mocked. And when they saw our might, they said, We believe in God alone, and deny that to which we ascribed a partnership. But their faith did not avail them when they saw our might. The practice of God, which had been before concerning his servants, ellipsis, has not changed to continue. And thereupon, those who spurned guidance while claiming virtue were lost. Chapter 41 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. ha -mim. A successive revelation from the Almighty, the Merciful. A decree, the proofs whereof are set out and detailed, an Arabic recitation for people who know, a bearer of glad tidings, and a warner. But most of them turn away, so they hear not. And they say, Upon our hearts are coverings against that to which thou invitest us, and in our ears is deafness, and between us and thee is a barrier. Then work thou, we are working. Say thou, I am but a mortal like you, I am but instructed that your Lord is one God. Then go straight to him and seek forgiveness of him. 
and woe to the idolaters, those who give not the purity and are deniers of the hereafter. Those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, they have a reward unfailing. Say thou, do you deny him who created the earth in two days and make equals to him? That is the Lord of all mankind, and he made therein firm mountains above it and blessed it and decreed therein its sustenance in four days equal to the Ascus. Then he turned towards the sky when it was smoke, and said to it and to the earth, Come, willingly or unwillingly. They said, We come willingly. And he determined them, seven heavens in two days, and instructed each heaven in its command. And we adorned the lower sky with lamps and as protection. That is the determining of the mighty, the knowing. Then, if they turn away, say thou, I warn you of a thunderbolt like the thunderbolt of Ad and Thamud, when the messengers came to them from before them and from after them. Serve not save God. They said, if our Lord had willed, he would have sent down angels, so we are deniers of that wherewith you have been sent. Then as for Ad, they were proud in the land without cause, and they said, Who is mightier than us in power? Had they not considered that God who created them, he is mightier than them in power? And they denied our proofs. Then we sent upon them a violent wind in days of calamity, that we might make them taste the punishment of degradation in the life of this world. And the punishment of the hereafter is more disgraceful, and they will not be helped. And as for Thamud, we guided them, but they preferred blindness to guidance, so the thunderbolt of the punishment of humiliation took them for what they earned. And we delivered those who heeded warning and were in prudent fear. And the day the enemies of God are gathered towards the fire, then will they be marshaled. When they have reached it, their hearing and their sight and their skins will bear witness against them as to what they did. And they will say to their skins, Why bear you witness against us? They will say, God gave us speech who gave all things speech, and he created you the first time, and to him will you be returned. And you hid not yourselves, lest your ears and your eyes and your skins bear witness against you, but you considered that God knew not much of what you did. And that, your assumption which you assumed about your Lord, has brought you to ruin, and you are now among the losers. And if they be patient, the fire is a home for them, and if they seek to make amends, they are not of those who might make amends. And we assigned them intimate companions. They made what was at their time and what following them fair to them, and upon them the word concerning the communities of jinn and men which had come and gone before them became binding. They are losers. And those who are indifferent to warning say, listen not to this Qur'an and speak nonsense during it, that you might be victorious. But we will cause those who are indifferent to warning to taste a severe punishment, and we will reward them for the worst of what they did. That is the reward of the enemies of God, the fire, for them therein is the eternal abode, as reward for their denial of our proofs. And those who are indifferent to warning will say, 
our Lord, show thou us those who led us astray among jinn and men. We will place them under our feet that they might be among the lowest. Those who say, Our Lord is God, and then are upright. The angels descend upon them. Fear not nor grieve, but rejoice at the garden which you are promised. We are your allies in the life of this world and in the hereafter. For you therein is whatever your souls desire, and for you therein is whatever you ask, a welcoming gift from one forgiving, merciful. And who is better in word than he who invites to his Lord and works righteousness and says, I am of the submitted, and the good and the evil are not the same. Repel thou with that which is better, and then is he between whom and thee is enmity like an intimate friend. But there are granted it only those who are patient, and there is granted it only one possessing tremendous fortune. And if there provoke thee a provocation to evil from the shaitan, seek thou refuge in God. He is the hearing, the knowing. And among his proofs are the night and the day, and the sun and the moon. Submit not to the sun or the moon, but submit to God who created them, if it be him you serve. Then, if they be proud, then do those who are with thy Lord give glory to him night and day, and they never weary. And among his proofs is that thou seest the earth laid low, and when we send down upon it the water, it stirs and gives increase. He who gives it life is the quickener of the dead, and he is powerful over all things. Those who deviate concerning our proofs are not hidden from us, is then he who is cast into the fire better, or he who comes secure on the day of resurrection? Do what you will. He sees what you do. Those who deny the remembrance when it comes to them, ellipsis, will taste a severe punishment to continue. And it is a mighty decree Vanity cannot reach it from before it or from after it. A successive revelation from one wise, praiseworthy. There is said to thee only what was said to the messengers before thee. Thy Lord is one possessing forgiveness and one possessing painful retribution. And had we made it a recitation in a foreign tongue, they would have said, Oh, that its proofs were but set out and detailed. A foreign tongue and an Arab. Say thou, it is for those who heed warning, guidance and a healing. And to those who do not believe, in their ears is deafness. And it is for them blindness. These are called from a far place. And we gave Musa the law, but it was disputed about. And had it not been for a word that had gone forth from thy Lord, it would have been concluded between them. And they are in sceptical doubt concerning it. Whoso works righteousness, it is for his soul. And whoso does evil, it is against it. And thy Lord is not unjust to the servants.